my hands today, I have the all new TaleMade Stealth Driver. I've come down to the Donnelly to give it a test. And TaleMade say this is no longer a metal wood, it's a carbon wood. And it's all thanks to this, a carbon fiber club face. Now in this video, I'll run you through everything you need to know about this new lineup of drivers from TaleMade. This incredible new face technology and just give you a good idea of how it performs out the golf course. I'll show you the numbers got whilst testing on a Trackman and compare the Stealth with last year's Sim 2 driver. Just so you have a really good idea of what is on offer in 2022 from TaylorMade. First off though, before I delve into all that, if you're new to our YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button below, give this video a thumbs up and any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you. So first things first, I'll run you through the technology and the new Stealth driver lineup and the elephant in the room, the carbon fiber face we have here as you can see it's labeled 60x carbon twist face now this is a technology that's been 20 years in the making for tailmade um we've all grown accustomed to titanium drivers titanium face drivers are over several years over a couple of decades now um but back in the early 2000s tailmade realized that titanium would probably one day hit a limit of its potential so that's when they started working on the idea of carbon fiber now, I could run you through all the ins and outs of the design process, where things start to go right and wrong for TaylorMade, but it was only in the last few years that they found that they could make this a real, you know, something manageable, something they could produce on a large scale, uh, to, you know, good tolerances, to make sure that it was durable, but crucially, deliver better performance. That's what this thing is supposed to do. There's no point in doing it if you're not gonna get greater performance. And the real story here is ball speed. Now, carbon fiber, you probably know what this material is, very light, very strong, and this face is actually 40% lighter than the equivalent titanium face would be. Now, tell me say this will result in greater ball speed across the face. The reason being is there's now more weight within the rest of the club head to impart energy onto the golf ball. So this will still be within the CT limits, the legal limits the RNA and USGA set, but crucially the COR across the face will be increased. That's what they're saying. And then in turn, you should see increased ball speed. Now the first thing that of course will draw you in with this driver is the face. And once you feel it, it's got a strange texture to it. And that's another reason why Tailmade say they were able to bring this carbon face to market, be able to deliver good performance. It's got a nano texture uh, to it. So it's kind of a wee bit rough. And it's also got a polyurethane outer layer. Now the reason why that they've included this is that it means that the carbon fiber face is able to deliver good launch conditions, so high launch, low spin. If it didn't have this layer, then in wet conditions, you would just get knuckle balls. In dry conditions, it would be high, spinny, floaty. So that was one of the obstacles that they've had to overcome. You also see that we have full face grooves along the face. You might not be able to see them so clearly, but once you get it in your hand, you'll be able to feel them. And again, that's just to channel the water so you don't get those knuckle balls in wet conditions. Now that's the new carbon fiber face. If you've got any questions about it, I'm sure you will, just leave them in the comments because I've not covered off absolutely everything there, but I'm sure that's a pretty good top line look at it. In terms of other technologies, we've got some absolute staples of tailor-made drivers over the last few years. We've got this, you know, asymmetrical sole design with the inertia generator at the back, so increasing the MOI, trying to give you greater forgiveness, you know, better launch conditions, as you can see with this weight out here, and the shaping on it, very similar to the sim drivers. We have the speed pocket, really good for retaining ball speed, especially on those low miss hits. We have the carbon fiber crown here, so, you know, saving weight out on top, putting it back down in this inertia generator. Uh, and we have the adjustable loft sleeve. So many staples of TaylorMade's technologies over the last few years, but the big story is the face. So the question is, how does it perform? Well, let's find out. Now, the first question that I'm sure many of you will have when hearing about this new driver and the new carbon face is, what does it sound like? Well, you've just heard it there. It sounds like a tailor-made driver, in my opinion. You know, the M5 and M4 drivers, the Sim, the Sim 2, every one of the tailor-made drivers over the last three, four years have sounded really good. That kind of low, crunchy sound down at impact. Um, you know, of all the drivers in the market, probably the one that I've liked the sound of best. And yeah, it's just the same story with the Stealth. Um, you would probably think that maybe the carbon face would sound a bit dead, maybe, you know, it would feel a bit odd, odd down at impact, but it's just not the case. It just sounds and feels like a tail driver of the last few years. And in my opinion, that's fantastic. Now, when it comes to looks, you might think when you place this club down behind the ball, that red face is gonna be really off-putting. But it's actually, you know, after a few shots, it's not all that noticeable. 
and it contrasts really well with the black crown so we've got the sort of matte carbon finish for the carbon fiber section then this more gloss section towards the leading edge and you know when i first saw images of this driver on my computer screen i was a bit off put by that red face thought it looked a wee bit garish but once you get it down behind the ball it's a bit more muted um you know in person it's not quite as bold and as brash um and yeah it actually looks quite smart after a few shots you don't even really notice it i liken it to when tell me brought out the white drivers a good few years ago you know i thought this might look a bit awful but once you hit a few shots you get used to it and it actually looks quite good plus also like the fact that we've kind of got this darkened out black section on the face so kind of just highlighting where the sweet spot is and yeah you know in terms of the looks it's a smart looking driver fairly minimalist in the design the sort of red pops throughout the sole i just think it looks really smart so yeah no qualms whatsoever in the looks department now the model i'm testing out mainly today is the standard stealth now there's been a wee bit of a change in the namings of tailor drivers you know you'll probably have got used to the standard model and the sim and sim 2 being the better player lower spinning model you know tailored more towards high club head speeds um, and then you had the Sim Max and then the Sim Max D. Now we have the standard stealth. This is replacing the Sim 2 Max, basically. This is the jack of all trades. Um, you know, it's going to be high launching, high MOI design, but still deliver great ball speed. And that's what I'm seeing out here today. You know, it is a high launching design, but the flight isn't too stally for me. You know, it does a pretty good job of keeping those spin rates down, even though this is, as I say, that little bit higher MOI um, design. The HD model, it's in the name, the high draw. This is the highest MOI of all the options, so it'll be the most user-friendly, most forgiving, and really help those of you who struggle with a slice. But probably for the vast majority of you watching this, you'll go into this model, the Stealth. Then we have the Stealth Plus. Now, this is replacing what would have been the standard Sim 2 or the standard Sim. This is the better player lower spinning option. TaylorMade say you can expect around about three to 400 RPM in difference of spin between this model and then that Plus. Now, although I'm seeing good performance with this Stealth model, uh, I think the Stealth Plus probably would be the one for me, um, just because I'm looking for that kind of lower spin, uh, sort of flat trajectory look. But, you know, in terms of overall performance, launch, forgiveness, this stealth model, ticking all the boxes, really good all-round performer. So I'll run you through the numbers I got testing on a Trackman with Pro V1 golf balls. And I'm comparing the Sim 2 Max with the stealth because these are the models that match up. It's the one that's being replaced. And you can see, you know, any of you that have tested this driver before will know just how good it is. And the numbers are absolutely solid for me. High club head speed, ball speed over 160, so 162.9. Average carry 273, average total 294.4, and that spin rate 266.9. It's probably in the upper sort of window of where I want to see it, um, but yeah, still definitely playable for me. So, absolutely solid numbers. Now, let's move over onto the stealth and the number that you're all waiting for the ball speed. You can see that I have climbed, that's the big tech story, and I'm now at 164.3. Now, albeit my club speed is also up a wee touch, but you know, I'm, I'm getting more speed, so it does seem to be delivering on the goods. So average carry to 75.9, and an average total of 293. So it's not actually going quite as far in total, and that's largely down to the spin rates. Um, you know, we're at 294.3. And for me, this just highlights that the Stealth Plus model would probably be the one for me. It would give me the kind of spin rates I want to see. Tail made saying you can expect a couple of hundred RPM less. So. You know, if I was to marry that greater ball speed up with the preferred launch conditions of the plus model, I think it would be an absolute winner for me. Um, but yeah, crucially, you know, I am seeing those gains in ball speed that TaylorMade are promising. Albeit it's not absolutely massive, but, you know, I wasn't expecting a gigantic jump. It's all about those incremental games. You know, we're talking a brilliant driver from last year, really good technology, really fast, powerful face. So the fact they're able to go a wee bit better, get some more performance is fantastic. I think it just shows this technology is working. So now for some final thoughts on the Telemi Stealth Driver. Well, having taken out in the golf course today, having tested it extensively on a launch monitor, I have to say I'm impressed with what Telemi is delivering yet again. You know, over the last few years, they've made some really brilliant drivers. And I'll add this to the list because it's delivering on all fronts. You know, you're getting that ball speed, so the tech story seems to be backed up by the numbers. Um, we have a lot of technology in here that, you know, we've grown accustomed to over the last few years. Um, but more so than anything, I just think it's a really cool story. 
you know, the carbon wood. The fact that we have this entirely new technology, something that I've never tested before, something, you know, I've never really seen done so, you know, prominently on a mainstream driver. The fact that we have this carbon fibre face, really impressive bit of tech, really impressive all round bit of kit. Have no complaints with it whatsoever. You know, and out in the golf course, it's just delivered the goods. And that's what I've come to expect to tell me drivers. And yeah, it's thumbs up for the stealth, that's for sure. Now, if you have any questions about the stealth lineup, then just leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and thanks for watching.